Welcome back. In this video, we'll explore a brand new tool introduced in Matrix Gold 3.9, the Static Surface Prong. This new feature gives you a faster and simpler way to place prongs, especially on mesh surfaces and complex designs. Why did we create this tool? Well, we already had the prong placer and the prong on surface tools, but the prong on surface is parametric and designed specifically for NURBS geometry, which doesn't always fit every design need. Take this example. The surface I'm working on is a mesh, not a NURBS. And in cases like this, or when you're dealing with a lot of stones, you don't always need a parametric tool. You just want something quick and reliable. That's where the static surface prong comes in. It was inspired by another popular tool, the Gem Placer, which also works great on mesh surfaces. These two tools complement each other perfectly. To get started, I click the static surface prong command. It asks me to select a surface and I choose the mesh. As you can see, the interface looks familiar. It's similar to the Gem Placer. Now I can start placing prongs directly on the surface. I can see the prong dimensions in real time and I can easily make them bigger or smaller using the keyboard hotkeys. Simple, fast, and intuitive. You also have quick controls for positioning, X, Y, and Z directions. This makes it easy to place prongs exactly where you want them. I'll enable Mirror X and begin placing multiple prongs symmetrically. This setup gives me a much cleaner, more balanced result. It's extremely smooth to use, very responsive, and it doesn't slow down the system even with big or complex models. That's the key advantage. When working with complex pieces or heavy stone layouts, this tool keeps things light and efficient. It's optimized for speed and simplicity without sacrificing control. The tool also supports full keyboard shortcuts for all key settings. You can use W and S to move prongs up and down, T to taper, and D to adjust dome height, just to name a few. To change prong diameter, use Q and E. By default, it changes in steps of 0.1 millimeters. But if you hold shift, it becomes even more precise, adjusting by 0.01 millimeters. Perfect for fine-tuned edits. This level of control means you can quickly build out prongs across your design, whether you need speed, accuracy, or both. And of course, you can still toggle mirroring to streamline your workflow. So if you're working on mesh models or want a lighter, faster way to place prongs without all the parametric weight, Static Surface Prong is the tool for you. We hope you find this new feature useful in your daily work. Try it out, see how it fits into your workflow, and as always, let us know your feedback. Thanks for watching.